morning guys, welcome back to another video um, and today we're going to be designing something very similar to Mac Miller's upcoming posthumous album, Circles. The upcoming album features some pretty cool album artwork and it's very easy to design. It doesn't take any crazy Photoshop skills or any mad photography magic, um, it's pretty simple stuff. So we're going to take a couple of photos on our phone, we're going to jump into Photoshop and put together a style of photo that looks very similar to Mac Miller's new album, Circles. We're going to keep it very simple, we're just going to take two selfies on the iPhone in portrait mode. A feature in portrait mode that actually just whites out the background, that way we don't need to edit anything out after, so let's get straight into it. First things first, you want to get, oh, I've got an awful spot. We're in selfie mode, you want to go over to portrait on an iPhone, and if you haven't got an iPhone you can still do this, um, it just, it's a lot easier if you do have portrait, so we're just going to keep things simple today. Obviously you can do this with a camera, you don't need to be using an iPhone, you don't need to be taking selfies. If you want to set a camera up and take a self-portrait, or if you want to get someone to shoot a photo of you, or if you're doing this effect with someone else, this will work however you want to shoot the photo, um, but I'm just using selfie mode on my iPhone, just to keep things simple today. On portrait mode, go all the way over to the right, where it says high key light mono. So we're going to take two photos that look very similar, but I've moved slightly, so when we put both photos together, you can see that it looks like there's two versions of me. So I'm gonna take one photo of me looking this way. Yep, that'll do, and then take another photo of me looking up. Cool, so now we have these two very terrible photos of me in looking in different directions. I'm just gonna airdrop them over to my laptop and we'll open them up in Photoshop. So I've opened up a 1080 by 1080 blank canvas in Photoshop, so we can go to File, Place Linked, import the first photo, import the second photo. In Mac Miller's album cover, the two photos of him are actually within a square as well, so we're just gonna copy it pretty much exactly. Let's go to the rectangle tool at the bottom here, go to fill and just make it a type of gray. Anywhere in the middle will look okay, I think. We're just gonna try and get pretty much exactly the same sort of look that Mac Miller's got here. So I'm gonna go over to the right and hide these two layers by clicking the eyeballs. And then we're gonna hold shift on the keyboard and drag out a square and then space to reposition it. I'm just gonna go to stroke on the top here and remove it, we don't want any stroke. I also like to make sure everything's centered within my images. So we're gonna go over to the top where it says view and then go to nude guide layout and then columns two, rows two. And you've got this nice little, these blue lines that work as a guide so you can keep everything central. Drag the rectangle tool below your two photos. Next, we're gonna click on the first layer so command T on the first photo and you want to resize it so it fits into the box that you've just created. So we've got our first image placed within the box. Um, but the thing is the selfie I took actually cut my shoulders off either side. Make sure you've got your first photo selected, go to opacity at the side and bring that right down to 35%, 30%, whatever you think looks cool. And then command T and drag the photo out so my shoulders aren't cut off at the edges if that makes sense. I'm just going to bring that up a little bit. As you can see, this first photo here actually leaks out of the box and we've got this, this bar at the bottom here that doesn't fit. So you want to make sure you get your first photo selected, hold Alt and then press in between the layers and now the photo layer is placed on top of the rectangle and it fits in perfectly. So we're going to do exactly the same thing with the second layer. So unhide it, bring it back, go to opacity, bring that down to 38, 35%, whatever you think works. Command T to resize it and then drag it up so it fits within the box. So at the bottom here, we've got this extra bar that we don't want, so go onto the second photo, click, click Alt, and then in between the layers, and then that's gonna place on top of the rectangle layer as well. And that's as simple as it really is. You can change the size of the photos, you can change the opacity of each layer. So if I was to just mess around with this and make the second layer opacity of 15, and the top layer, you know, 60%. So you can just play around with the opacity of each layer and then um, move the selfies around, move the photos around and see whatever you think looks good. I don't even know what you would call this effect. It's like a faded double portrait type thing. Depending on how you've taken the photos, what the photos look like. I mean, my selfies were pretty poor. There wasn't really much emotion going on. Um, I'm looking forward to listening to Mac Miller's album when it comes out. Um, yeah, should be interesting. And that's pretty much how you make that double portrait effect. Um, if, if that's what you want to call it, I'm not sure. Uh, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe and uh, let me know if there's any other videos you want me to make, any other Photoshop tutorials. So that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Okay.